hi guys today i bring to you simple recipe to make your okwa that is the part um, the breadfruit this is our sweet corn our fresh pepper pounded this is salt and this is the palm fruit stalk that's the ash you'll be using it in replacement of the potash the akamu so as you can see guys our okwa is dried we'll be washing it thoroughly until the water is clear so right now our okwa is cooking on a very high heat yes because it's dried and we don't want to sleep where we are cooking the okwa so guys this will be added to help it cook fast in replacement of your can which is more healthier than the potash okay feel free to use this if you have it in your location where you are we'll be using just the water saving just the water we're not going to be using the ash itself yes as you can see at it as it's going into the pot it's greenish in color that's just the same way your potash will look once it goes into your pot yes and you know potash is not healthy do not add the black substance okay just the water right now our okwa is still cooking and at this point guys it has cooked for like one hour yes and i'll be reducing the heat to a low heat so it doesn't get burnt most people at this point would like to scoop out the water our okwa is 80 percent cooked yes but i still want to cook it down so it gets to be so tender okay this is one of the numerous ways of cooking okwa we'll have lots 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 of ways of cooking your okwa yes but this is the simplest method and this is my most preferred method guys if today is the first time you're coming across my page i beg you kindly follow kindly comment like and share and if you're following already thank you guys so guys at this point our okwa has cooked completely down it is so soft and has absorbed all that water you saw yes i didn't scoop out any water so i'll be adding salt please guys i beg you be mindful of the quantity of salt you are adding so you don't over salt your food okay this food doesn't accept much salt in fact it is easily noticeable when you over salt it and next is our fresh pounded pepper yes so guys we have lots of lots of ways to cook this okwa. Most people will add onion. Most people will add um, vegetable like bitter leaf and all that. Stockfish, your dry fish, most of your chewing obstacles. But this is just us, the simplest method. Yes, the okwa is still a bit watery. Never mind because it's still hot. Once it cools down, it will thicken. Yes. And at that time, trust me, you enjoy it the most. So next is our sweet corn. Feel free to use the normal corn you know if it's in your location i still prefer to use this for some reasons i don't know but i think because of the taste and um yes that is that so i didn't add the water guys just the corn stir properly to combine everything together you wouldn't want your okwa to test one side salt the other side pepper the other side um, maggi maggi yes and do not be generous with the oil yes at this point don't be generous with the oil just a little oil yes a little oil okay you wouldn't want your okra to be so reddish or yellowish in color yes just a little oil and it is just okay for it continue to stir until everything is properly incorporated okay yes just play al um, along just play um just keep playing with your okwa continue to stay until you feel everything is properly combined so guys at this point my okwa has been stirred completely and everything has been aligned together yes so now i'm going to serve yes i'm going to start serve um even though it's still hot never mind it will cool down once it's cold and i'll be adding our chewing obstacles come and join me and eat thank you